on health care. It comes from Elysia Block. She's from Philadelphia, an assistant professor who voted for Hillary Clinton last time. Hi, um, Hi. Mr. President. I was born with a disease called sarcoidosis. And from the day I was born, I was considered uninsurable. That disease uh, started in my skin, moved to my eyes, into my optic nerves, and when I went to graduate school, into my brain. When it hit my brain, I was automatically eligible for disability for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I chose instead to get a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a PhD, and become a professor. It's great. It is great, except I still have similar health care problems. It costs me, with co-pays, I'm still paying almost $7,000 a year in addition to the co-pay. And should pre-existing conditions, which Obamacare brought, into, uh, brought to fruition, be removed? No. Without, please stop and let me finish my question, sir. Should that be removed within a 36 to 72 hour period without my medication, I will be dead. And I wanna know what it is that you're gonna do to assure that people like me who work hard, we do everything we're supposed to do, can stay insured. It's not my fault that I was born with this disease. It's not my fault that I'm a black woman and in the medical community, I'm minimized and not taken seriously. I wanna know what you are going to do about that. So, first of all, I hope you are taken seriously. I hope you are. And we are not going to hurt anything having to do with pre-existing conditions. We're not going to hurt pre-existing conditions. And, in fact, just the opposite. If you look at what they want to do, where they have socialized medicine, they will get rid of pre-existing conditions. If they go into Medicare for All, which is socialized medicine, and you can forget about your doctors and your plans, just like you could forget under President Obama, he said, you can have your doctor, you can have your plan, and that turned out to be a lie. And he said it 28 different times, at least. We have 28 different times. You can have your doctor, you can have your plan. Well, it's not true. But what we're doing is we're going to be doing a health care plan, pre-existing, protecting people with pre-existing conditions. As an example, yourself, it sounds like that's exactly perfect. That's exactly what we're talking about. We're going to be doing a health care plan very strongly and protect people with pre-existing conditions. I will say this, they will not do that Mr. because President, they have I socialized, have, I have George, to stop they have there. socialized I, I, I just have to stop you there because just on a couple of points. Number one, Joe Biden has ran against Medicare for all in the primaries, but much more importantly, Obamacare guaranteed people with pre-existing conditions could buy insurance, guaranteed they could buy it at the same price as everyone else, guaranteed a package of essential benefits, guaranteed that insurance companies couldn't put a lifetime limit on those benefits. You fought to repeal Obamacare. You are arguing well, I essentially did, you, you are you're really arguing the, the Supreme management. Court right now to strike it down. That would do away with pre existing no, conditions. So you've that we promised, can do new health care. But you've been promising a new health care plan. We interviewed I interviewed you in June of last year. You said the health care plan would come in two weeks. You told Chris Wallace that this summer it would come in three weeks. You promised an executive order on pre existing I have it already. But it's you've been trying to strike down pre existing matter. conditions. I have it already and it's a much better plan for you and it's a much better plan and what is when it? you say Obamacare I got rid of the individual mandate which is the worst part of Obamacare You're striking you down the whole law wouldn't be pertained to you but it pertained to a lot of people where they were going literally bust because they didn't want to have health insurance and they were paying for it anyway and it was no good Obamacare was a disaster. Obamacare is too expensive. The premiums are too high. It's a total disaster. You're going to have new health care. And the pre-existing condition aspect of it will always be in my plan. And I've said that loud and clear. But and you haven't true. come up with it. And we got rid of the individual mandate, which essentially ended Obamacare. And I had a decision Only to make. Only because you're arguing George, for it. George, I had a decision to make. Do I run? We gutted out the worst parts of Obamacare. Now I have to make this decision. This is three years ago. Do we run Obamacare well and do a good job and do the best, even though it's never going to be very good, or do we let it run badly? Probably letting it run badly would have been a better political decision, but I couldn't do that. We have run it so much better than Obama ran it. Now, it's not the same because I got rid of the most unpopular thing and a very unfair thing. You're which trying is the to strike down the whole no, wall. George, we have run it really well. But we also have now other, if you go Department of Labor, a, our great secretary, as you know, and you know him well, 
uh, we have other alternatives to Obamacare that are 50% less expensive and that are actually better. It's been three and a half years. George, uh, it's been 40 years since you had good health care. You never really had good health care in this country. This country has never had it. But when you say that uh, Biden doesn't want to do it, everybody else does. Bernie does. He agreed to the manifesto, as I call it, the agreement with Bernie, is that you're going to go to socialized medicine. He ran against If you Medicare go to socialized plan. medicine, well, they, he agreed. And Harris, who he today said Harris Biden because he thinks she's president, Harris, and someday you'll have to explain that one to me, but Harris is all for doing that. She wants to go to socialized medicine. So you no longer have your doctor really, and you no longer have your plan. And Joe can say all he wants. He's only doing it because he sees his poll numbers going down so substantially. But Joe can say all he wants about health care. Uh, you know, Obamacare has been a failure from day one. It's too expensive, whether it's the premium or whether it's the cost generally. And they don't have their doctors and they don't have their plans. We're going to have a very good health care. I think maybe a great health care for less money. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.